Alright, time for episode two of my Let's Play. And... Okay. Why am I getting sand? I need dirt to make a starting wheat farm so I don't starve. Or I can kill a zombie, then get dirt for a wheat farm so I don't starve. Except that I'm pretty much one hit from death. Come here. Come on. I so don't like these Songcraft zombies because they have some a bit higher health than the basic zombies and hit harder. Oh, and I'm going to starve unless I eat. There we go. Let's get some health regen. Mm, I should cut down these trees. And is that part of this? So, yes, it is. I don't know what mod that it, what tree popping mod that is, but I like it because it makes those huge trees not so annoying. Where is the rest of the wood? And let's go down. No, come on. There we go. More grass, one. Oh. I need more seeds. So I ate all the rotten flesh that I grabbed during the night. Actually, I need more apples. There, apples. That was interesting. Apparently sometimes the tree pop, whatever tree popping thingy it is, can do that. Oh, we got the wood that got stuck in the tree. Still no apples. I want to cut down three. Guess I have to clear cut this island. I will get more apples if I have to cut down everything on this island to get some. Uh, that's a dolphin down there. I could tame it. Or, I think it's you kill it, hatch it, or stick it, the egg in the water, it'll hatch, and then you can ride it or something. I don't know. I haven't messed around with that too much, and I don't really want to right now because I've, there's so much to do at the start with Technic. Okay, more seeds. You need to get wheat farms started early. You need sugarcane started early. You have all the industrial craft stuff to do. You can do build craft, although that's not too big of it an issue because red power is better in every way. You do need the red power stuff, but which means clay, which I have not seen any deposits of. Unless I've been like totally blind and walking by them. Oh. Or totally blind and ignoring them when they're right in front of me, like right there. Clay, clay that's easy to reach is most common in swamps, but Clay in general, the 
those massive deposits are most common in ocean biomes. Since and since I'm at the edge of an ocean biome, that ow. That makes this pretty easy. Let's see, I still have the wood shovel. Okay. Oh. Uh, and I have railcraft to do as well. Railcraft is a really cool mod, but the amount of work it takes is not the it's not too well thought out, I don't think. Of course there'll probably be fans of Railcraft yelling at me for that. But whatever. Okay. Anyways, you need a lot of clay because you need a lot of bricks for coke ovens, which are required for the for basically everything that is railcraft. So coke ovens will automatically turn wood into charcoal and make creosol oil, which is used to make ties, which is used in all forms of rails now. So with railcraft, it it will disable your the vanilla recipe for mine rails. You can re-enable it. But I'm more likely to totally, or with my ability at computers, I'm more likely to totally um, corrupt my Minecraft file and force me to reinstall again. So I'm not going to bother. Let's see, more clay. I will dig all this out just because needs twenty six bricks, not the brick blocks, just the bricks for one coke to make one coke oven, and you need a lot of coke ovens. And in red power, you need brick blocks and clay blocks to make the different furnaces. Oh, and I think they're fairly useful for thong crafts. And there's clay right there that I could have grabbed. And if you, the equivalent exchange, they're worth a fair amount of EMC, but I'm not going to do much of that just because it makes things boring. Not to mention, there's going to be enough magic with thong craft. It's filthy magic, including my science. Um, more air. And yes, that's enough room to make an air pocket under here. That's more dirt. I need more clay. Um, that's sand. Well, let me out. I'm going to need a lot of sand anyways, too. Just sand for glass, sand for sandstone. Uh, actually, sandstone is just for decoration. Sand for glass, and sand to make the coke oven bricks. Which are... In this is an interesting part of Railcraft. The two special ovens are not something you make in a crafting table or the rolling machine, which is their special crafting table. It's you actually build them in the world. And you must be careful because especially the blast the blast furnace, I think it's called, after it's crafted, the center fills with lava, so if you're standing in it, you will die. Not to mention there's no way to get out. And I just wasted a pick on some leaves. Okay. Did I really get, like, no apples from that? Oh, more grass. Yeah, I really got no apples from that. And not a lot of wood, too. Oh, wait. Okay, two different kinds of wood make 38 logs. Uh. 
not a bad amount. Problems with whatever I whatever I have that's popping the trees, I can just go and hit one of these massive ones and get multiple stacks. Like this. Which is I suppose it's handy just to keep or I suppose that's nice to keep up the coke ovens loaded. With wood turning into charcoal for energy and torches. Oh look. And that one tree gave me a full stack of that and some more. And I'm just walking by all this nice tall grass. Let's see, I don't think jungle trees can drop apples. And it's already getting nighttime. That went by fast. More seeds. I want at least 12 seeds, preferably more. That's nine. It's just a quirk, but when I get. That was flax. Yeah. Flax is kind of handy. It's pretty much. Who needs, who needs scorpions? Who needs spiders? Who needs sheep when you can just have flax growing all the string you'll ever need? Oh. Anyways, it's just one of my quirks. I like to have when I start plant before I start planting. I like the amount of seeds I have to be divisible by four because um, that's how long how far water will hydrate. Oh, I have an os. There's an ocelot on my island. I need a fishing pole quickly. I will not get a fishing pole quickly. It's disappointing. I'm going to pet kitty. Do I have. I have some cobblestone left. How big. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. That makes some plain brown. That makes a bit more red. Dump it all in a chest because it's night time. Two planks to make six, not one. Okay. Make two shovels because I'm going to need to. And let's go zombie hunting. Hopefully without falling to my doom. And that's a zombie being attacked by a piranha? Okay then. Piranhas like zombie meat too. Yes. Good fishy. Good fishy. Get the zombie. I find it interesting that the zombies aren't hitting the fish. Apparently they can't target them or something? Hmm. There's another fish right here. 
and I can apparently hit them. Come here. I'm gonna call you Fred. Come here, Fred. Okay, three zombie flesh. I would need a lot more. Oh. Oh, I hope vanilla spawns aren't turned off from this. S skeletons are really kind of important. Well, not so much skeletons, but bone meal is really important. Apparently they're and they're running away from me. Okay. Well, I'll get the chicken then. Because I need emergency food. Wonder where the zombies are going. And I need to eat. Downs the downside to trying to survive off zombies is that some nights like this, you actually won't get enough. There you go. Okay. I really wish vines would grow up this so I don't have to waste hunger jumping. Uh, point of interest if you're starving but, but you have a farm set up. Or, uh, um, ow. You, your hunger will not go down if you're in a boat. So if you have a farm set up, but you're starving, you can wait in a boat until you get until it grows. Of course, you can also use the boat and try to find like an island of pig, you know, pig island, or something. But, eh. No one likes traveling in a boat anyways. Just sit back, lounge, floating around. That's a drop. Ah, but there are vines. Speaking of pigs. Come to me. Come on. Delicious bacon. Pork chops. Whatever. And there's a wisp trapped in. Oh. That would not have been good if I hit that. Wisps are terrifying creatures of destruction. They. <sighs> okay. Another pig. And it's morning. And there's an obelisk right there, so... I will take out these zombies, mark the obelisk, and then life needs me. Okay, again. Let's... More zombies, please. More zombie? Yay, more zombie. More food. I really hope I don't get mobs. Okay. 
Okay. Ow. What's that red? Ooh. No, 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 bad. That. Thomcraft slimes are so annoying. As they exist and grow, they will take the charge out of aura. Not, it won't actually reduce the aura, it just reduces the charge in it. Uh, basically, if you'll see at random times, it will increase based off the amount in it. It will, inst instead of it increasing, it will eat that. Which is really, really annoying when you're trying to do things. Ooh. Yay. Free zombie food. More? No more. Okay. Let's see how many seeds I can get. Oh. And it's daytime. So I will cut this out.